This is Pastor Gene Kim from Bible Baptist Church. So a lot of people use this passage in Revelation 13 and wonder if it's referring to artificial intelligence. That's all over the news now about artificial intelligence. You can see that in recent news. A lot of big shots like Elon Musk and other CEOs and powerful big figures are saying that AI is the thing that's threatening and dangerous. Even Yuval Noah Harari says so. So uh, what's going on right here? Well, Revelation 13, 15, it points out right here that the false prophet had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So some people are wondering about image right here. If this image is actually referring to like a computer screen image instead. And since images nowadays talk and look at you as if they have life in them, they're speaking to you. So a lot of people use this passage and wonder if that's referring to artificial intelligence. Now some might claim that, uh, well, you know, this is not referring to artificial intelligence because the image right here is referring to a wooden idol or a golden idol back then. But if you look at image right here in Webster's 1828 Dictionary, in the Bible, yes, it does refer to solid objects. It can Idol can refer to solid object, but why does an idol have to only refer to a solid object? It could be uh, basically... Right here, it mentions that an image is an idol. It can be the representation of any person or thing that is an object of worship, right here. It could also be, right here, a picture. Notice right here, any copy, okay? You hear about digital copies, right? Or any copy, representation, or likeness. Semblance show, notice right here, appearance appearance. So image does not have to be simply a solid object or a solid copy. It could be virtual. Uh, notice right here in optics, the figure of any object made by rays of light proceeding from the several points of it. Thus a mirror reflects the image of a person standing before it. Why? We know that digital images could also uh, refer to this one. There are uh, basically from digital images, lights are at work and everything else. And you get, well, not really a mirror, but a screen, right? But the point is that image can qualify for this definition right here. And when you read the word of God, when the Bible talks about an image or it defines a word, we know this, and this is undoubtable in scripture. Historically, it could refer to that timeline, so in this case a solid object, but we know that when God gives a verse or a word, it can be not just historical but prophetic. It can supersede, it can go ahead into the future as well, into a double application form. So who's to say that this is only a solid object? Why not any object? God seeing a different object into the future right here. And in this case, there's no doubt, I strongly believe, digital. Yes, there's going to be solid objects, solid idols, but I believe also that this could be digital as well. And if I'm not mistaken, even the word idol can qualify as well. It doesn't have to be necessarily some kind of wooden, uh, physical, solid form. Notice right here, auto, idol means an image. It means an image. It also means, boom, a representation right here. Uh, we see digital images. Why? They're representations of people. They talk about, you know, AI. They talk about, um, uh, excuse me, <laughs> they talk about AI avatars. That's why I was trying to get that. AIs and avatars. Well, assuming that this is artificial intelligence, this has got to be demonic. There's no doubt about that. All right, giving life unto the image of the beast. The false prophet's doing that. Right now, mankind's trying to give life to images. But this electric stuff that's giving light to the life to the images, 
we have to realize that devils can be connected to that. Now, I'm not saying all the time, but there are times that they can choose to do so. Because right here, notice in Ephesians 2.2, 2, according to the prince of the power of the air, that's Satan, notice he's power of the air. He's connected to that. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. That's a demonic spirit, right? So a demonic spirit can be connected to powers in the air. Why? Electric waves, electric currents, and everything. They can do that if they want to. Keeping that in mind, we know right here, if today man's giving life to images and devils can be connected to that if they choose to, Revelation 13, 15, certainly, not sometimes or possibly, it certainly proves that the life that's given to the image is demonic, right? There's no doubt it's a demonic power. Why the power that gives life to images nowadays, power in the air, electricity, remember, devils can be connected to that if they want to. That means then, certainly in Revelation 13, 15, that will be demonic, the electricity that gives life to the image of the beast. Think about it. I mean, what's the only thing that would qualify for images today? You think today people, uh, they all make a big deal about images? No. The image today, when you talk about images to people today, they're not thinking about solid objects, uh, solid idols. They're thinking about, obviously, digital representations. So you have to think of this as a prophetic application, not something in the past historical application. All right, keeping that in mind, then this is interesting where the Bible says in Revelation chapter 9 that if images have life in them during the tribulation, notice that God says right here that the idols do not see, hear, or walk, or speak. Well, then why does Revelation 13 say they do? Because in reality, they don't. Images, idols, and yes, that includes the digital stuff. That's what I'm including right here. Even though solid will also be a possibility in the tribulation. I think it's going to be both, both of them, because I apply everything together in the Bible. Okay, getting back to the point is that truly they do not see, hear, or walk. They truly don't have life, images today. But if devils go in them, then they're producing the life. Look at right here. Notice that they should not worship devils and idols of gold. What in the world? How can people worship devils today? It's not like people are going to bow down their knees and say, I worship Satan. You don't see that nowadays. People who do, they just do it out of mockery, you know, when they get involved with Satan worship. They don't really mean that. But if these images or these AI right here are seeing, hearing, and talking when in reality they don't, they're only seeing, hearing, and talking because the devil, the demonic power behind them, which Revelation 13 already proved to you, the false prophet puts the demonic power into the idol that doesn't see, hear, or walk, but it now sees, hears, or walk because of the devil right here. That's how people are going to worship devils. It's that images that they're all idolizing nowadays, that they love nowadays. Notice right here, that's why it makes sense at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, that idols are nothing of themselves. We believe that. There's nothing uh, real or, you know, you have to be scared of an idol or panic. But there can be demonic power behind them. Notice right here that the idol, what say I then? That the idol is anything or that which is offered and sacrificed to idols in any, anything? No, obviously not. They're nothing of itself. So a Christian does not have to panic or fear about it. But notice right here that what they sacrifice to is not idols here, but interchangeable with the word devils. Why would that be the case? Because we do know that from even now to back then, there are cases of solid object idols that people claim that were talking or that had life in them. I mean, uh, milk coming out 
of the breasts of these idols or tears of blood falling off of images of Mary. I mean, it's scary stuff. So the devils are speaking for the idols. The idols don't speak. Look at Mark 5. When a devil or a demon possesses somebody, the person is not the one speaking. It's the devil. Look at this classic case of the legion who possessed a man. And the devils, not the man who was possessed with devils, besought him, saying, send us into the swine. It's the devils that are speaking. If we were to believe that Revelation 13, then, is referring to AI, which I strongly believe, I strongly believe in that because that's the only thing that image would be applicable to, to in modern times. It's not solid object. It's more so, again, with digital representations. So if it's AI that's speaking, that means I believe devils will be speaking. Now, right now, I'm not saying that artificial intelligence is the devil speaking, but according to Ephesians 2, I wonder how many times we could tell the difference with the devil speaking or, or just the electronic or the electricity itself that's speaking, right? How many times? Because the devil can, again, can get in there. That's one. Number two, for now it may be electricity, but later on it will be devils, according to Revelation 13. That artificial intelligence that people will think is actually referring to to devils. But that's the bl that's the brilliant part of Satan. The brilliant part of Satan in Revelation 13 is that people, they're going to think that this is artificial intelligence speaking to them, not the devil himself, which is why they will be able to worship the image while at the same time, without probably knowing, they are worshiping devils. They're worshiping devils in there. It's interesting sometimes when you look at, uh, there are articles about Elon Musk when he talks about AI, he sometimes interchangeably, I don't know if he means to or not, puts devils in there. He calls them devils. If he doesn't really mean to call them devils, he connects that word to them. So there are plenty of articles on that one. But this is the last thing that I want to show you, which is interesting. You know, the Bible says devil, but demon is a word that's used by modern Bible translations. Only the KJV says devil. Why? Because demon refers to something positive, a positive connotation like a wise spirit or something like that. But think about this, all right? When demons, or more rightfully, biblically devils, go inside artificial intelligence here, think about it. It's called artificial intelligence. You know what demons mean? This is from Blue Letter Bible. It means intelligence. Every head bow and every eye shut. Who wants altar call? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.